today is the third. Today we're having the third wireless on this day on agriculture this year. I'll just uh, take us through a quick recap of what we did, uh, what we talked about in the, in the first, the first two wireless one is this. Actually, the first one was in February this year, and uh, that was February 29th. And one of the things that uh, we talked through was um, uh, one of the realizations that we made was that uh, developers should to be prototyping and uh, improving their products in, in an iterative way. They should not think that uh, their, their product is con is complete just because they've designed it in, in and they haven't tested it with, with real farmers, so that they should they should use the concept of prototyping. Uh, focus on functionality that works. That that, that is another key key thing that uh, people raise. Uh, knowledge sharing among among farmers is, is one thing that farmers keep asking for. That technology should should help farmers to, to share knowledge among themselves. Uh, farmers also requested that applications in, in in farming should also consider information authenticity. So that information that's uh, that's been uh, that's been disseminated through those applications is uh, is authentic. Farmers also were asking for feedback me mechanisms within the applications for them to give feedback on um, on what they find in the applications. Uh, we also realized that the issue of the middleman is a is a controversial one and maybe not controversial but um, it's a it's a topic that we, we can't we can't uh, exhaust even if we start discussing it again today. Uh, some people thought that it's still uh, middlemen are, are still very useful. They have a they have a role in the value chain. There was the issue of mobile devices and affordability. Uh, the, the discussion revolved around uh, the fact that actually some devices some devices that we think are too expensive for farmers are actually affordable for farmers if they if they are designed in, in such a way that the applications are useful to the farmer and it becomes a tool of trade for the farmer. The, the other observation: the uh, farmers are generally diverse. There's these large-scale farmers, there's uh, small-scale farmers, and uh, when, you, when you're developing an application for farming, then you, should, you need to consider the, diverse, the diversity of farmers themselves. The other thing that, uh, we, 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 uh, that was discussed on that, on that particular day was the fact that uh, there's, need, there's need for more applications to help in val value addition processes. Um, the second uh, meetup, which was in April, uh, one of the things that came up was that uh, there needs to be more awareness and uptake of apps and services, and uh, developers need to be more creative as uh, as as they try and create more awareness for their for their for their applications. They need to partner with um, device manufacturers and uh, mobile operators and other people that could that could help push the applications because most of the most of the applications they were talking about the developers was the farmers are not aware of them, so they need to be more creative uh, about how to create awareness uh, around the applications. Um, the, other, the other thing that, that came up was that we need, uh, we need a way to organize um, groups of farmers using technology because there was a need for, to create social networks for farmers to be more, to, to form groups around that, that are facilitated by technology. The other thing that came up was uh, financing challenges among, among farmers continue to uh, actually among farmers and agro-processors <coughs> continue to exist and um, we need to be more creative as, um, as developers and entrepreneurs on how we can help link, create linkages between, uh, how we can help create linkages between, between, uh, between microfinance institutions and, um, and, and farmers and agro-processors. The other issue was again the issue of uh, middlemen and their contribution to the value chain. They, they may look like an evil to some people, but they're not an evil to everyone. So, um, as we discussed today, uh, let's try and build on these discussions that we had in the, in the, the last two uh, wireless Wednesdays.